I am Anna Daly, the Chief Scientific Officer of Namita Lab and the inventor of ARIA. I'm willing to bet that for most of you guys, the journey that brought me here today is a little bit different than everyone else in the room. But in 2010, I was a young academic wrapping up a postdoc in protein biochemistry and trying to figure out what my next step was gonna be. I knew academics and a career there wasn't for me. And at the time I was approached by another colleague who was herself an inventor and an academic and an entrepreneur. And she was looking for someone to join a company that had this crazy idea to look at tears for breast cancer. Um, and during the conversation, when I went to the interview, I found out this tech came from Arkansas, which I, is a state that I am from and I love. It was founded by a woman. And I thought, this is the way to go. I can't pass up this opportunity. Now, the other interesting thing is in 2010, when I started and we were talking about diagnosis for breast cancer, we were talking about women in their late 50s, early 60s. Now, almost 13 years later, the conversations that I have most often look like women on this screen. They're in their 40s, they're in their 30s, some are in their 20s. They're mid in their career, they have families, and they have young children. And this is an issue because you can't really screen for breast cancer if you're under the age of 40. The other problem is this is the image of the breast health continuum of care. As women, this is what we're supposed to navigate and understand. Every step in this pathway, every square you see, every arrow can be different based on what your payer will cover, what breast center you have access to, and which of those seven on the bottom, those are seven different screening guidelines that we're supposed to follow. So it just depends on what of those guidelines your primary care provider follows. Women are falling through the cracks, they're frustrated, and this is a problem. So what are we doing about this? This is ARIA. ARIA is a biological breast cancer screening test made from proteins from tears that can be done at home for women ages 30 and over. Our technology is built on peer-reviewed publications over a decade of clinical studies, two US patents, and 23 international patents. We are a CLIA certified high complexity lab located in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So why in the world would we do this with tears? So tears and blood are two sides of the same clinical picture. We can see a lot of the same things in tears you can see in blood. DNA, RNA, proteins, metabolomics have all been studied. It just provides a really nice, easy way to get to molecules that we're interested in with a quick, easy at-home collection method. Now, blood is important. It can still be used, but the collection process you'd have to do to look at these proteins in a clinical lab can be expensive. It can be time-consuming. It can damage and even remove these markers. And TEARS just provides an easy mechanism to do that. So this is the process our customers go through. They can order the kit from our website. The kit comes to their home with everything they need to collect and send their sample back to our lab. When you get the kit, you activate it. You fill out a breast health profile. And we'll talk about why that's important in a minute. Then you collect your sample. So how do you collect a tear sample? We use a Shermer strip. It's what they used to use to test for dry eyes. Just a little piece of filter paper. It goes inside the lower eyelid and you close your eye for five minutes and the proteins will stick to that strip. Then you take it out, you put it in a tube, you add some liquid, you ship it back to our lab in Fayetteville, and that's it. In our lab, we do, we test those two proteins, we take that together with age to give you a score and a classification. And then you can schedule a consultation with a breast health specialist. So let's talk about that ARIA score. So we've built a score and a scale system on the 10 years of clinical data that we've collected. So we're looking at two proteins that are part of the early inflammatory process in tissue formation. We see them upregulated in some benign masses and breast cancers as well. So really what we're telling you is a degree of inflammation that could lead to an abnormality in your breast tissue. During your consultation, we talk about reasonable follow-ups and next steps. So this is one of my favorite parts about the ARIA test. So we have RNs and nurse practitioners who have spent their career navigating breast health. And you can have a conversation with them. Typically, you don't get to have this kind of conversation until you've had a biopsy or you've been diagnosed with breast cancer. It's far too late. These ladies have extensive experience in navigating women and can answer all kinds of questions. We talk about what is the difference between a screening mam and a diagnostic mammogram? What's a breast health radiology center and a general radiology center? What does it mean if you have dense breast tissue? What if it means if you get called back? 
what do you do if you know your mom and your grandmother have had breast cancer and you're concerned about it as well? We answer all of those conversations and we also talk about reasonable next steps and risk factors that could be happening in your breast health. Because going back to that first slide, when we think about younger women being diagnosed with breast cancer, we don't really know why that's happening. Is it increase in obesity? Is it delayed childbearing years? Is it what we're putting on and in our bodies that hasn't been regulated and now we're starting to see the effects of that? So these are very important conversations that we have during our breast health consultation. We like to talk about ARIA being part of the full picture of breast health. We all know about genetic testing, we know about imaging. And now ARIA gives you real-time risk information that complements all of those things and puts you at the center of your breast health journey. So where can you find ARIA? So women are finding ARIA through our website at aria.care. You can find it on walmart.com and Amazon. Women are also finding ARIA through their employers. We've partnered with midsize and large employers local to Northwest Arkansas, as well as Healthier, which is a large platform offering workforce end-to-end -end care. In addition, you can find ARIA through your primary care providers. We're starting to have clinics that are offering ARIA directly to their patients as well as Avexia, which is a functional platform for functional medicine practitioners to order ARIA for their customers. So with ARIA, women are getting the information they need to ask for the care they deserve. Come find us, we'd love to talk to you more about this product. You can go to our website at aria.care, enter your email information and follow our journey. So thank you very much.